We're in Beantown, not for a tea party, but for a battle on the home ice of America's oldest NHL team, the original six Boston Bruins. Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emery. When you are playing in the driveway, street hockey in the summertime, and you're broadcasting to yourself, it's always Game 7, Stanley Cup Final, everything on the line. Can't imagine what the feeling is like in you. I can, Doc. Uh, lucky enough to have won a Stanley Cup in an opportunity of a lifetime. And whether you're at home or on the road, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. But for the road team, to me, the first 10 minutes in the first period maybe could determine their fate on whether or not they win the Stanley Cup or not. Let's look at the starting netminders. Game sevens are the thing of magic. Not a whole lot needs to be said by the coaches, by the players, or us. So let's just see here. Let's just see. After a thrilling series that went back and forth, it all comes down to a best of one. And he needs to be solid and give his team a chance to win it. Simple as that. We are ready for the first faceoff of the night. Bergeron's the starting center for the Bruins. O'Reilly's opposite him for the Blues. Sends to the point. Swatted down by Alex Petrangelo. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Oh, and blocked away. Snapping a pass to Shen. Great save. Score! Boy, they're on the board early, aren't they? better to play from in front than to chase the game. There's the game's first goal. The Blues have broken the tie. Perhaps they can build on this lead here in the first period. Over three minutes play. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Vladimir Tarasenko and my number 10. Terrific determination by Charles. Three minutes, ten seconds. Crosses that line. Passing one off now to Steen. It was free. He recollected it. Smart recovery by Alex Steen. And a save. Trying to go to McAvoy. Moving it to DeBrusque. Could be trouble near the line. Whistle is blown, and the guilty party heads off the ice. St. Louis is guilty of a two-minute penalty for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. The Bruins have practiced the power play feverishly this week. Let's see if it pays off. Always important to win the special teams battle, or at the very least, come out even. Lots on that to Krejci. He throws it there. Gets a blocker on it. Watch out, a big hit. This is not going to be a game. It's just him. A breakaway stop there. Feeds the point. The Bruins carrying it in their own end. He is able to move on in. A shot. Outstanding glove save. The Blues are skating it up at neutral ice. Breaks away. Hope checked away. St. Louis has killed off the penalty. Things are full strength. May not have intended it, but it hit him. A great wrist shot. Wonderful stop.
St. Louis can't expect another save like the one we just saw. Their goaltender came up large to bail them out. Boston's prevailed on another faceoff. Gathered up again by Johansson. Carries it on in from center. Tries to get it on net. That one's to him from his goaltender. The Blues with possession in the neutral zone. He's going right to the net. Gathered up by Johansson. Flings it. Save. Pass attempt to Schwartz. Breaks free. Save. Couldn't have handpicked a better guy to be on a breakaway, and he stopped him. Score! Bozak's had some chances in this game. He finally scores on the backhand. Grass down in his butterfly a little early. That opens up the top of the net, and he gets beaten cleanly. Boston's got that puck off the tie -out. Number 21, Tyler Bozak. Time of the goal. In that defensive zone, an important play. Two on one opportunity. Let's it go. Score! Three straight goals. You give him the opportunity from this spot in the ice, that's the low slot area. He's going to score. And so when we played, the goalies used to stand up. That was the easiest spot to beat them. Low stick side. Even with the butterfly, it's still a really good shot. Clean beat there. Just over six minutes still showing on the clock this period. They've scored again. Depending on which book you read, three may be the most dangerous hockey league. We'll find out. Steals that pack. The Blues have a decided advantage in this game because of their ability to force turnovers. Nice work by Shen. 42 seconds. Shoots one. That puck struck him in front. Quick wrister. Nearly grazed the iron on that. Pitching this one to Achari. Wrister. Save. St. Louis charges up from the wing. Wrister from the slot. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. Strong wrister. He scores. That's four straight. That puck looked like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. By slid to Coyle. That shot came from just six inches. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. And he puts the glove on it and stops play. Tarasenko's offensive production doesn't slow down in the playoffs at all. They do everything they can to get in his face and take away his ice, but he's able to somehow squeak away, pull his weight to some extra space to deliver a scoring chance. A little pass from his goalie here. And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing.
Boston's got a face-off win. The Bruins lug that along through the neutral zone. Period. Let's it go. Save there. Pitch straight ahead through center. Moore's got to shovel it out of there. A terrific first period for one squad, but not for the other. So at least one coach has his hands full. Stay warm and stylish in the ring with our specially priced item tonight. Our game team starter, priced at just $10. Boston suffering in net. Probably their whole team play needs to be re-examined during this intermission, but the goaltenders had a rough night. Here's an example as we go to break. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? The Bruins are trailing on the scoreboard because their time on attack was limited. They'll need to push the pace if they want to score more goals. Second period has begun. Big lead has been built up thus far. Let's see if it continues. Chip to Bergeron. Takes it in from the neutral zone. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Across to McAvoy. Turned away with the stick. Dogged determination there by Bergeron. Great save. Got it at the point. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Back in his defensive end to get it. Boston's looking to head man up the wing. From the outside, and a save. Directing that one to Tarasenko. Pass through center ice. The Bruins have played half of this game and none of it has been any good. They look at the clock and they wonder why it's not moving fast. They want out. Looking to Bozak. Skates it into the zone. Got a piece of that one. Boston's continuing to probe up the wing. Good shooting place. Use that big goalie stick well. Breakaway chance. What a big breakaway stop. Let's it go. At least he protected his goaltender. Shoots it off. Blocked. Now it's directed to Bozak. Driving in from no man's land. He had the goalie beat and hit the iron. I hated when this would happen. Even though the game settled, I wanted that puck to hit the post and go in so my number changes. St. Louis moves on to the penalty box. They get a minor for tripping. Oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. Boston's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Well, you're not going to get an endless supply of power plays, but they get another one here. See if they can punch through. Puck is thrown to Petrangelo. Two sticks together, they cancel. Wonderful stop. Bruins prevailing on the faceoff. Big drive. Wonderful save with a pad. Great shooting lane. A shot. That puck hit him on the way to the net. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Pitching it to Bergeron. Shot on. Tay. Skilled play by Johansson. On to DeBrusque. Very important steal for him. The Bruins needed something from their power play and didn't get it. Snapping a pass to Marchand. Steps across that line. A shot. That save. And yet another save. How does he do that? came back over the blue line everybody has to get back and the coach wishes he had skates on right now passing one off now to Dunn oh here's a wrister 
Save there. Bozak's a dangerous guy because he can score, but where he really gets to be a handful for the opposition is that he makes the people around him that much more dangerous. If you're playing with him, get yourself to the net, get your stick on the ice and your head up, because a lot of times, the puck will be delivered right at the right time. Got the iron with the shot. Twist one. That shot hit a man. And in flight over the line. The pad flashed out to turn that aside. A player change for the Blues. He outskated him to beat the icing call. Quick wrist shot. Great stick there. The Bruins have it along the side at mid-ice. Puts one on. Really quick grab. Trying to go to Tarasenko. Steps in from the neutral zone. Terrific stop, but it's loose. And he dumps it in. Moving it to Tarasenko. One minute left. Into the last minute of the second period. Pitch back into the offensive zone. Propelled to Moore. And at an angle to Wagner. Good save there. Oh, the goalie was screened on that shot. You gotta rely on your positioning to make that save. Two periods are in the books here. And the books could very well have some perspiration stains on it by now because these teams have worked pretty hard. But still, a third period is ahead. Time to look at the heavy totals for the shots on goal. 20 for the Bruins and 16 for the Blues. St. Louis has gotten a wonderful performance from their goaltender. How good has he been? Take a look at this. One final save. Perfect night for him so far. We'll be right back. Forty minutes down, at least twenty minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? The Blues have had their way offensively, putting up a bunch of goals here through the first two periods of play. Let's see how they play it the rest of the game. Do they sit back or do they look to add to their comfortable lead? Dumped into the opposite corner by Charles. Walking a thin line near the border there. What a tremendous hit. McAvoy's often the object of a target. He's so good, nobody wants to give him much room, but he gets tagged there. Leads that charge into the zone. A shot, terrific shot, but a great point blank save. You talk about cutting down the angle, perfectly executed by the goaltender. Pop ricocheted off the screen. Score! He's got his second. He worked himself into a good scoring area and let it go on the backhand. That shot is delivered quickly before he can shut down the five hole. The puck scoots through before he has a chance to close it up. Just under three minutes have been played. This is an overwhelming offensive output. One team offensive, the other offensive. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Pass attempt to Bozak. The Bruins skated up on the side. Moved along and in. Shot! Wonderful save. He was hovering right over it. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Sent out, and he'll make him chase it. Terrific interception. Pitching this one to Krejci. Smart recovery by Alex Petrangelo. Grab that pass off. Critical place. And angled to Krejci. Save. It's dumped in. Shot back to the other end, and that means icing. And let's hear again from Ray. 
Rath had a rotten night. Sometimes you look at the clock and it never moves. He can't wait to get out of there. Well, he looks like he's got a blindfold on in this video here. Yeah, there are several there he'd want to have back, wouldn't he, Ray? The Bruins talk about their mantra of blocking shots. Well, over the last few games, it's remarkable how many they've got in front of them. Shoots. Outstanding save. Just got his glove on it. In with it now. Shoots. He caught it, and he holds on. And he dumps it in. Directing that one to Steen. That one sent geometrically to the opposite corner. Puck fired down, decision made. Defenders first, icing. And here again is Ray. Biddington's been a major factor in the way this game has played out. He was exceptional, in particular early in the game as his team struggled. Look how fortunate his team is that he's played like this. He has been spectacular in goal tonight. Absolutely, Ray, thank you. We have passed the 10-minute mark of the third period. Who would have thought five goals put all of them from one team? Broke it right up! Good job in clearing it out of his own end. Icing waved off thanks to the hustle by Schwartz. Has it picked up. St. Louis would like to finish this off properly. They played well to protect the shutout to this point. Now it's time to bring it home. Net is dislodged, so play is stopped. The puck's near the crease. You got to get there, but nobody's going to let you have a free path to the net. They bump into the net, and it ends up getting knocked off the boards. They win the draw. What next? Let's a shot go. Gathered up again by Charles. Looking to Sunquist. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Great defensive play with the stick. Pitch that one back in deep. Hard work, but it paid off. No icing. And now it's directed to Nordstrom. Brings it in for an attack. Let's it go. Handled with the stick. Puck is thrown to Sunquist. With a shot. Save. Laid on to McAvoy. That's a failed clear. Stick used like a magic wand by Charles. A great waffle board save. Pass cut. It's all on his shoulders. Right out front. Save there. Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. Bennington's seen a lot of rubber tonight. His team defensively hasn't helped him out very much, but he's turned aside almost everything, and as a result, they have the lead. Bortuzzo's got it in his own end, headed towards center. And it is icing, and the linesmen earn their pay as well. The Bruins get the draw. On the outside, a shot. An outstanding pad save. Up the left side to Marshand. Nearing the last minute of the third period. Great save. Goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. Great job in his own end with that interception. Pitching it to Heinen. Gains the zone. Let's it go. And a save. Got his pad on that one. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Lost 
Johnson's got it again. Fires. Good save there. Boston's controlling play now up the wing. Slid to Krejci. Off his pad. Couldn't retain possession. Snapping a pass to DeBrus. Presented since 1893. In their imagination, it never looked as good as it will. The Stanley Cup about to be theirs. As soon as the shooter starts to release this, the goalie drops to the butterfly. Hey, buddy, pick up your head. You might see he's down on his knees already. Defensive zone win. the ultimate dream and they've realized it here but the losers some of these guys may never get another chance to go after the Stanley Cup much to be said for being a humble winner and a gracious loser. This series is so bitter, it is so hard to play, yet your celebration gets put on the back burner as you shake hands and congratulate the team that you've just beaten on a hard-fought series. The playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy. And here is the winner. This is a tremendous award that probably means more in the coming days than it does now. You don't dream of winning the Conn Smythe. You dream of the Stanley Cup. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. No matter where you look in the hockey world over the next little while, that picture will be the first one that you see. It will also be in his home in a prominent position, I imagine, a moment he'll never forget. There's always interest in how the Stanley Cup has passed, player to player, and they take their victory lap with it. Players are injured and banged up, yet it doesn't seem to matter how much that 30-pound trophy really weighs. Doug Waite actually got it over his head once with a dislocated shoulder. Cup celebration. What we see on the ice last is everyone gathered together for a very happy Stanley Cup team picture.